What's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge. And this is the last video on a five part video series on how to create user registration form in PHP. So in the previous tutorial we have already implemented the jQuery and Suite Alert to our project. So this time we will continue working on with the jQuery so that it will post our data to the database or to a file and then the file will be processing our information, processing the form data, and insert it to the database. So we have here the prevent default that we have in the previous tutorial. So after this line, we need to define the AJAX request. Okay, so AJAX request and uh, curly braces inside and semicolon at the end of this uh, line. The next step is to define a few things here. So the first one is type. So the type of this request is post. And for the URL, we need to define process.php. So we'll be creating this file later on, process.php. And then data. So the data should be all the information, all, all the variables that we have uh, defined here. So or better yet, we could change this or import or place this inside the condition valid. And then the data should be listed as follows, first name, then supply the first name. And let's just copy and paste this line, 2, 3, 4, and 5, remove the last comma. And last name, and email, 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 and phone number, phone number, and of course, the password and let's define another option which is the success so this success is a function that has the data parameter okay and let's just copy this one for something if we uh, encounter errors later on okay the same thing function and it has data parameter so we need to copy our speed alert pop up to display something here so title should be successful successful and the text user registered or successfully registered okay and we could copy and paste this one for our error function so errors and there were errors while saving the in, saving the data and the type should be error of course okay so we have the first name last name okay email phone number password and the password value okay let's just remove this and so this line Okay, so the next step is to create the process.php file. So let's define a new file process.php and inside this process.php let's just uh, echo something for now. Hello hello from process. 
so we'll know if the process.php is working or the, the, the Ajax request that we're working on is working. So save your file, your process.php file, go back to our browser and refresh our page. And let's try to uh, input something here. Okay, first name, last name, email address, phone number, and then sign up. Successfully registered. It says successfully registered. Okay, let's change the text. Instead of successfully registered, it should be the data coming from the process.php. Save your file registration.php and go back to the registration.php page. Registration.php page and refresh input random email okay phone number password and then sign up hello from uh, hello from process as you can see so we can uh, say that the process.php and the jQuery Ajax request is working. Okay, so the next step is to fully uh, modify our process.php. So let's just copy the code that we have here earlier. Okay. And paste that into this process.php. And instead of uh, checking if the post create is set what we need is just to uh, check if the post is set I mean the post variable is set so if that is set then we could get all the values coming from the request so first name of course last name email uh, email phone number and password okay and of course if there's no request let's just echo no data and then we have here the insert for our database right but we don't have the connection for our database so Let's just copy the uh, config uh, require once line and paste it here in our process.php file. So we now have the config, all the configurations uh, defined in config.php will be included here in our process.php file. So we have here all the values, first name, last name, email, phone number, and the password. So for the password, let's make it uh, a little secure by using the uh, SHA-1 encryption so to encrypt our password instead of a plain text password the password will be saved as some random characters so it will be less readable if someone got the access to our database so let's save the process.php file and of course also this registration.php and go back to our browser and refresh our page okay let's try uh, or let's try first to uh, sign up or click the sign up button without uh, filling in the form okay so as you can see the request will not be processed because there's a validation and if we try to type in values here, say for example, John Doe, John Doe and email is John Doe at gmail.com. Number, okay, any random number for now. And password, any random password and click on the sign up button. And it says successfully save. And let's check. Or PHP my admin if the information that we have submitted is saved into our database. So localhost and then PHP my admin. 
enter your password or username and password. Go. And then user accounts, browse. See in user accounts, we can see all the information that we have submitted. So first name, last name, email, and of course the password that is hash by SHA1 encryption. Okay, so I think that's all there is to it and how to create user registration form in PHP. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Thanks.